Good morning. Welcome to Vlogtober, day 22. Um, it's Thursday morning and I'm about to go downstairs and start work. I have just got ready. Um, I hope you're all okay. Wow, momentous news. I had to put a belt on my jeans. I am so pleased. Oh my goodness. And these are the jeans that were actually quite tight before I started working out. So um, something's changing, <laughs> which is really cool. And yeah, that's made me so happy. Um, I can't quite get in the smallest size yet, but the ones that I am wearing are definitely need a belt. Um, so that was cool. Big news of the day. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to try and show you a little bit about what I'm doing today. I'm not doing an hour by hour, but um, hopefully I'll check in a little bit more than I did yesterday. Glad you liked the music. So that's here to stay, which I'm sure Gaynor of Tales of Cuckoo Land will be really pleased to hear. <laughs> um, oh dear don't really want to traumatise my watch, it's not, you know, that, that's not good. Um, it's a lovely sunny day here, so Ian's gone off on his bike for a long bike ride. I'm going to have dinner at lunchtime. Um, so if you're not of the UK, we call dinner, uh, well actually what we call, in our house we call it lunch and tea, but tea confuses people. So dinner is our evening meal. And lunch is our dinner time meal, which is lunchtime. That's really confusing, isn't it? But basically, I'm having a main meal at lunchtime today because Ian has a Zoom tonight and I have brownies. And normally he would cook for me while I'm doing my brownie Zoom, but he can't. So I'm going to eat at lunchtime today. And um, then Katie, um, her other half, is uh, away working um, at the moment. So uh, we're going to watch Bake Off tonight, which then frees up Saturday, which will be really good because I need to get the rest of the lounge tidied up and all my advents sorted Saturday or at least as sorted as I can get them that would be good um yeah so I need to go start work and I will talk to you in a little while so the first thing I do um when I get to my desk is go through this book and um, sort out my page for today, which will be this one. I've also actually got to sort out my page for yesterday because I haven't filled that in yet um, because I had a late night. Um, so I will get on with this. So I'm going to fill this in and I do like to use my ink pen Ooh, on this one. Um, so that'll be the first thing I do. And then I'll write in my to-do list here and then I'll start, I'll start to go through that. As the day progresses, I also like to put in my kind of hour by hour what I'm planning on doing today it very rarely looks like that by the end of the day in fact it very rarely looks that by about sort of 10 o'clock but we have a go um, and then this side where it says notes I either use for notes or if I haven't used it for notes that's where I stick my photo and write my diary entry um, if I have used it for notes then I'll put in an extra page <laughs>
you've just seen me cleaning my kitchen and um, the bits I could put in the dishwasher are now in the dishwasher um, cleaning because, you know, why do it yourself when you can use a machine? <laughs> so I'm um, about to check into work, see what I've got going on today and um, do a bit of that and hopefully get my cosy memory blanket done, square done because I've got to phone a utility company which means I will be on hold for a fair amount of time. Yay! <laughs> you have I been sitting here for too long today you want cuddles do you do you want cuddles <laughs> well there we go don't stand on my phone I don't eat my flowers either Are you smelling them or are you eating them? No, you're not eating that. I'm not sure that isn't poisonous. No. Come away. No eating the flowers. Oh. Have you got any music? I have got music. Would you like music? Yeah. Perfume for working out. <laughs> Personally, I always need that after the workout. So Charlie is now cooking. Do they look round? No, that's fine, it just needs a wash. Okay. Just, that's, that's just mud. So that's an extreme close-up of your face. <laughs> so um, you want to put them in for an hour, half an hour on one side, turn it over, and then half an hour on the other side. So, Charlie's making jacket potatoes, and this is how we make them in this household. You put a cross in the top, which she's done, um, and then you cover them in butter. For Charlie, it will be dairy-free butter. And then you put salt on them, so they go all lovely and crispy. I'm going to dry it. You don't have to. How do I put butter in it, then? You, you, you just put the butter on. And then um, you put them in for half an hour on one side and then half an hour on the other side. And at that point, you should have beautifully crispy jacket potatoes. They, you stick a fork in them, and if they're still hard in the middle, you put them in for another half hour. But those size ones should be done. Um, that, that, one, that one might need a little bit longer, but the other two will definitely be done in an hour. No bada? Your bada missing? Oh. Ooh. This 
alright. Okay, that's alright then. <laughs> There's some bits in it, but luckily from the, the breadcrumbs, not. Yeah, that, it's not mouldy. I mean, I just put it on with my hands, but it, oh, did, yeah. it is a bit gross. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just literally get in there with it. So there is no, there's no easy way of doing it. You've got to put your hands over it, and then you just wash your hand. There we go. That's the best way of doing it. So Charlie, a little while ago, asked if I would. Um, video some of the food prep so that she in years to come she can watch it back and remember how to do things which is a great idea so I thought I'd video her doing the food prep so she can learn how to do things it's just too much butter there's no, not such a thing as too much butter to be fair but um, you, you might want to um, stop at that point and now just go wash your hands do not put the butter back <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I could have used that for. I was going to make some spinach. Oh, never mind. Well, We've got loads. So we use um, this for our dairy free spread because it has absolutely no dairy in it whatsoever. Reese's it mom. is in fact vegan. Reese's mum uses um, this flora spread that's vegan and it's actually really nice. Yeah. I don't know how, don't know how much more expensive it is though, but. It is, it's nicer. Well, to be fair, we normally get the pure stuff for you to put on, like, bread and sandwiches, but... Yeah, but it's, in, it's better than the pure... Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, look out for that, the shopping order. Yeah. But, yeah, this is um, great. If you're making cakes, and you're making vegan cakes... That is ...because true. you have so much of it, this stuff is brilliant. And it makes really good butter icing, just saying. <laughs> so now we need the salt. And I know, then... I'm not... Because Reese, obviously, you know, doesn't have salt, does he? Ah, so you're not going to salt them? Okay, fair enough. That's that's fair enough. Yeah, no, I just thought it'd be nice to get like that healthy, that healthy salt. You know. We've got. Have we not got some pink Himalayan salt? That's I thought that wasn't it. supposed to be so bad. Yeah, it's not. Do you what? Do you want to video me and I'll see if I can find it? Um, I mean, if you want to be filmed, then. Um. Well, actually, no, because you're too short, Mum, and then you'd have to climb. On I th well, I think it's on the bottom shelf. Is it behind the, yeah, behind the flower? Is it at the back though? That could have been messy. It was a little bit messy. <laughs> I thought we had the pink Himalayan salt, I have to admit. Maybe it is the next shelf up. No, we'll have to get some. Have you got to that part yet on um, Long Way Up? Mm, I'm going to assume because I don't know what you're talking about. But no, okay, that's yeah. alright then. Oh, look, that's it. There's the salts. They're at the, yeah, they are on the next one up. Oh, you were right. Yeah. No, that's um, for her cheese when she's cheese making. It's. Oh. Um, Something else. What are you saying? I can see cheese. I can see cheese. <laughs> I can see salt at the back there. Keep her going. What have we got? Is it just rock salt? You would not believe the amount of salt we've got in this household. This is sea salt flakes. Yeah, that's actually going to be worse, I think, for him than... Like normal salt? Uh, yeah, yeah there's, not, there's not one there with it. Right, I'm sticky, so. Ooh, lovely. Okay, so normally we'd um, rub them in salt too, but we're not going to do that because we haven't got any of the right type of salt. So it's just going to go in then? Just going to go in the oven now. Set the timer for half an hour. Then turn them over and set the timer for another half an hour. Then you can check them. And if you need help with checking them, let me know. 
but basically if you you have to open them there's no way of doing it without opening them yeah and if there's still a hard bit it's not all soft there's still a hard bit in the middle they're not done what else do you put in the what filling wise mm. well i had tuna earlier yeah i've already had tuna i had um Yeah, um, I mean, baked beans, but we haven't got any at the moment. Oh, that is very disappointing. Yeah, no, um, we haven't got any baked beans. I need to put those on the shopping order. Um, I mean, things like coronation chicken. Yeah, but Reese isn't going to eat that. What does Reese have? Cheese? Yeah. Ham and cheese? I mean, ham and cheese is a nice idea, actually. I mean, I worry about it in half an hour. Well, it is an hour. Well, yeah, but then like, in half an hour's time I can prep. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you want a cooked filling, I guess you could do like chicken or something. Well, yeah, no, I was going to just make like a little like, creamy spinach. Um, if you wanted to do for Reese, you could um, scoop out his innards, um, mix it in with the cheese and the ham and then pop it back in again for sort of five minutes. Yeah, so if he wants that, he can do it himself. <laughs> Hello, so I've videoed, even recorded, whatever, a few bits today, throughout the day. Um, I thought just to round today's off, I would show you what I'm making. It doesn't seem like much at the moment, but it's the start of some colour work mitts. There we go. And this is using John Harbin Knit by Numbers in the numbers that are stuck inside which I'm not getting out right now and the pattern that I'm using is there we go it's the songbird mittens by Erica Huser can you see that I think I saw this first on the woolen homestead maybe Tiffany made some um, and I just love them so much so I'm making them for a friend for Christmas so that's what we're going on with mitt day which is today and tomorrow is what we've we got tomorrow Friday uh, oh it's Christmas jumpers oh well at least that's portable because it's just a giant sock stage now because I've finished that second slip I think I finished the second sleeve. I can't remember whether I finished the second sleeve or not now. It's either I've finished the second sleeve and it's at giant sock stage, or I have still just got the last bit to go. I think I've finished it. Right, I'm going to stop arguing with myself. <laughs> Seriously. Honestly. So um, I've just had an impromptu second half of a workout because um, I was keeping Charlie company doing hers, so I decided I might as well, you know, join in. Not with her workout. Her workout would have killed me. Um, and then there's some footage of some jacket potatoes. Excuse me a moment, I need a drink. Because I started to trend. <laughs> you find that in this household. Um, one of us will do something, then everybody does it. Um, but it's a really sweet thing to do. And Charlie, there will be a, a record on this and I will put the title along the lines of learning to cook jacket potatoes um, because Charlie wants me to record various things I make so she can make them herself um, and she wants to be able to look back on them so I will try and I might just do a series of cooking videos for the girls and stick them up on YouTube and you lot can watch them if you want to I have to say I am no way a chef all I am is a mum of three kids who've all had different dietary requirements over the years I've got one dairy free one vegetarian and one who's become the pickiest child known to man um and that's my only qualification <laughs> so it's it's most of it is really good old-fashioned basic home cooking um like like the um casserole you saw me make last week and um the sea bass when i did the crust over the top and my salmon that i do it's all just basic stuff there's a slow cooked um shepherd's pie which i haven't actually made in ages so i may do that as well won't be tomorrow tomorrow um we are um going to go for a day out tomorrow we're going to take puppy with us because otherwise she'll be home alone um unless kate's working from home in which case we won't 
And then um, we, I think we're going to go to, um, I want to say Beachy Head is where we're ending up, but we're going to Ashdown Forest, I think, beforehand. But it will depend a little bit on the weather. Um, and I have no plans for the weekend at the moment, other than I want to um, get this area tidied down this end of the lounge. I want to um, get my advents wound up for my friends. I've got two more to do. Um, I need to get them done. I want to catch up with a few people I haven't spoken to for a little while, um, like Katie, our lovely moderator. I haven't caught up with her for a little while. Um, and um, generally kind of regroup and kind of get organised for next week. I want to try and start wrapping some presents and work out what I've got, work out what I need to get. It's all going to be a bit of organisation. Of course, last week's the next, well, next week is the last week of the vlogs. It's come around so quickly. Can't believe that we're on like the 22nd and we're counting down. Oh, and the hour changes this weekend, doesn't it? So that's going to be fun. Probably should put that on a group chat somewhere just so the kids remember. But yeah, the hour changes on Sunday. Um, and I think I'm cooking a roast, but I think I'm cooking that for the evening. So I might do a step-by-step -step roast for Charlie. I may not. <laughs> She's pretty good for roast actually, she probably doesn't need the roast one. Um, anything else happened? I'm so behind with everybody's vlogs. Um, I've only watched some of Gainers, which is Tale of Cookie Land. Um, and I'm way behind everybody else's, so I need to try and find some time to sit and watch them at some point. Um, that'd be a nice thing to do this weekend. And then tomorrow is, so tomorrow is jumper, Christmas jumper day. Um, then Saturday is socks. And Sunday is my hat. So I need to be a bit careful, um, which I didn't sort of think about um, yesterday, that I don't do the mohair um projects in the car have i shown you i don't think i've shown you that hold on oh. i think yesterday did i had i cast this on or was i talking about it this is the philosopher's cowl which is a pattern by the lovely Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. And that's the one I'm using these minis for. And I'm holding them with mohair. Mohair's, mohair and silk. God, I got there eventually. There will have been a long pause that I've just um, edited out there. And look how this is coming up. So I'm using the mini set from... Um, my first mini from um, Sugar Tots which is a Canadian dyer I think and I got this a couple of years ago actually this was in my stocking last year it was my stocking the year before and um, look how this is coming out isn't that dreamy I love it so new on the things I only want to knit is this but I need to remember not to knit this in the car um, I didn't knit it in the car in the end yesterday, I took my socks with me, but yeah. Oh, it's lovely, it's so soft. Super soft. So, um, yeah. <laughs> that one's happening. But I need to make sure if these fall on days when I'm going to be out in the car that I swap it for a different project and I work those on the, the day I swapped it for. But hopefully that'll be it more explained as I go through next week um next week's half term so I haven't got any guiding did not have brownies tonight either um the other brownie leader bless her her car's broken down so she wasn't going to make it back in time <laughs> so we didn't have brownies tonight so instead I went out and worked out with um Charlie Fair enough. um I mean, it's half term next week so we haven't got any brownies at all which is cool um, 
I don't think I've got anything else to show you today. I haven't had any mail. No mail. That's not good, is it? Um, in fact, I haven't had any mail at all. Um, which makes me think there's probably some somewhere that's been taken in that I haven't seen. But uh, hubby is on a Zoom call all evening. So I am going to um, sit and knit these and edit this and have a quiet evening so i hope today um i've got enough footage for today i meant to pick up the camera a lot more often than i actually did in the end um i haven't had any feedback about the time lapses so i'm going to hope they're okay and i'm going to include them in today's um glad you like the new music i really like the new music uh, gainer you have done me a favor because i really like right okay i'm going to call it a day there so i'm going to finish this vlog off um we are out tomorrow hopefully um so i will take you with me on that and um, i hope you have a lovely evening here we go a finished product i have to say that looks yummy so um thank you charlie <laughs> <laughs> that looks really good doesn't it well done thanks Mm-hmm. <laughs>